guys, Victor back again. Uh, today I'm in a mood to do some different shit, so uh, we're going to do some comedy today. Uh, I went, actually, I was in Vegas this weekend, and I went out and watched some stand-up comedy, and I forgot just how damn funny that shit is. So uh, I've been fucking around on YouTube looking up comedians and stuff, and I found a clip from Dave Chappelle back in the old days. I'm going to check it out. We're going to do a reaction, and we're going to have some fun. All right? Let's do this shit. I'm one of those people that's so smart that I'm uncomfortable in this world. <laughs> and I'm scared to live. I'm not scared to live, but it's scary out here. God damn. I know how flimsy this shit is. I can see through this. I can see the truth. There's an animal inside each and every one of you. It's not good. <laughs> shit is real. Listen, I was looking at the paper the other day. I'm not making this up. There's a serial rapist in Houston. There's nothing funny about serial rape. But, <laughs> what is noteworthy about this particular rapist is that all of his victims have been men. Enjoy your evening. <laughs> I can't believe you clapped about that. It's a man raping men in Houston. It's the most gangster shit. So far, uh, <laughs> Like, like seven men have already come forward in the Houston area and reported this motherfucker, which, which means he must have raped thousands. That's a tough phone call for us to make. It's not like when you get raped, ladies. There's no, uh, society don't give a fuck about male rape. There's no hotline for us. Man, get raped, you just gotta get up and walk that shit off. Huh? Got raped. Yeah. Caught me slipping. You gotta take that shit to the grave. Couldn't even tell my wife some shit like that. Come home, all disheveled and shit. Hey, where have you been? It's three o'clock in the morning. Out fucking another woman. Just go back to sleep, okay? <laughs> it's got, they got a real life uh, paparazzi. I see you. <laughs> Fuck you think I am? What do you think is a game? <laughs> Watching out for the media. I'm like Bigfoot, nigga. When people see me, they freak the fuck out. Oh, shit. Even other celebrities get surprised the same way. Oh, shit. Hey, thanks. Come on, y'all only got 10 minutes. God damn. That's all right. No, it's good. I don't have any material. That, is, that stuff's for pussies. Every time I see this backdrop, I think about Kramer fucking up. That's why I can't, I don't want to see no camera phones on my ass tonight. Because <laughs> my, I'm telling you right now, my, you know, like I'm not wrapped too tight. Like they, they put a lot of that corporate pressure on me. So I, this might be the night that I, this might be the night that I snap and you got, you guys be lucky. It's like having tickets to see Siegfried and Roy the night that tiger bit that motherfucker's throat. He's like, I was there when that Chappelle freaked out. I was there. Cause that's why we really go to the Tiger Show, right? You don't, you don't go to see somebody be safe with tigers. You go thinking in the back of your mind, like, this nigga might get bit. I'd like to see that in person for thirty-five dollars if I could. <laughs> Never seen somebody get bit by a tiger before. Only thirty-five dollars. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. I tell you the truth, when I seen Kramer's tape, I learned about myself. You know what I learned? I think I'm only like 20% black and 80% and comedian. You know what I mean? And uh, black dudes can relate. You know what I mean, bro? Like when you saw that shit, you was furious, right? Black dude with me was like, Kramer, you motherfucker. Like, I was hurt. And the comedian in me was just like, whew, niggas having a bad set. Hang in there, Kramer. <laughs> Don't let him break you, Kramer. Oh, 
I wish I was there so bad. Because, you know, you know, in the back of his mind, he was thinking, I'll get him the next show. <laughs> there won't be a next show, Kramer. Phew. <laughs> okay. That's uh, Dave Chappelle from 2009 at the Laugh Factory. Man. <laughs> yeah, you know that Kramer shit, man. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, man, Chappelle has always been one of my favorites. Back, I remember when Chappelle's show came out. Like that shit was it was hilarious. And you know, we had shows similar to that. We had Saturday Night Live. You had In Living Color. You had the sketch comedy format before that. But Chappelle's show was just different. He he was such a unique talent, and he was so racially driven. Um, a lot of his a lot of his content was racially driven, and he found a way to make that shit hilarious, but get his point across about how unfair things are in our society at the same time. And the guy, he, he still does that. If you guys check out his newest shit on Netflix, he's got like, like maybe just last year, just, yeah, 2017, 2018, something like that. He came out with a new comedy special, and it's fucking hilarious. I mean, he, he hasn't slipped at all in his older age. He's still great, and he's still... He still hits hot button topics and, and has this way about smoothing it over with, with comedy. And I think he's great. I think he's one of the best comedians that we've had in the last several decades. <clears throat> but yeah, that's that's it. I just want to have a little fun with y'all. You know, we'll break up the monotony from the music and stuff. And I'm going to start doing different shit like this on this channel. And we're going to have some fun. So so comment if you like if you guys like the, the comedy and you know, the MMA and doing different stuff. I might even branch out into all kinds of different shit. Who knows? Well, we can watch whatever the hell we want to watch. And you guys can click on the videos if you want to watch it. And if it, if it doesn't interest you, keep on scrolling. It's all good. I'm Victor. This is Difference of Opinion. Please hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. And I will see you guys next time.